In the vast expanse of our solar system, a world of wonder awaits us. Welcome to Saturn's mesmerizing moon, Enceladus. Hidden beneath its icy exterior lies a captivating secret, a subsurface ocean, a potential haven for life. As we venture deeper, we discover cracks in the moon's surface, through which a spectacular plume of water vapor erupts, defying our expectations. This enormous cloud, far larger than any seen before, holds within it, the chemical ingredients of life, tantalizingly escaping from the moon's icy depths. Enceladus, an ocean world, in our celestial neighborhood, offers a rare opportunity to seek extraterrestrial life. Its salty ocean, shielded by a frozen shell, might just harbor living organisms sustained by the mysterious energy of hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor. But how do we unravel this cosmic enigma? Well, we just did. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. In a breathtaking revelation, the James Webb Space Telescope had unveiled a celestial spectacle of epic proportions. The awe-inspiring moon of Saturn, Enceladus, was captured unleashing a colossal plume of water vapor, surpassing anything witnessed before. This magnificent, billowing cloud, holds within its ethereal embrace the potential seeds of life, clandestinely escaping from beneath the moon's frigid, icy exterior. Back in 2005, the intrepid NASA spacecraft, Cassini, made a groundbreaking discovery, the presence of icy particles erupting from Enceladus's hidden subsurface ocean, propelling through cracks in the moon's enigmatic surface. However, the audacious JWST now revealed that this material, propelled by unseen forces, surges forth far beyond previous estimations, its tendrils extending into the vast cosmic expanse, surpassing the boundaries of Enceladus itself. With such amount of discharge from the moon, things now lay wide open for scientists to study. And that's exactly what they did. For the first time, phosphorus, the rarest of six elements upon which life as we know it depends, has been found. Scientists combing through data sent home by NASA's Cassini spacecraft nearly 15 years ago said they have found plentiful phosphorus in water geysers that routinely blast into space from Enceladus. The intriguing new findings estimate that concentrations of phosphorus on Enceladus are at least 500 times higher than the highest known concentrations in Earth's oceans. The discovery, announced in a paper published Wednesday, June 14, shows that the icy moon, already one of the hottest candidates in the search for alien life, now satisfies the strictest requirement of habitability. We didn't find life or even something that was created by life, Frank Postberg, a professor of planetary sciences at the Freie Universität Berlin in Germany who led the research, told Space.com. We have just found signs of something that indicates that life could form there pretty good. It is just a habitability indicator, and a very good and important one, he added. These powerful water jets are likely triggered as the gravity of the gas giant Saturn squeezes the moon, heating up its rocky interior. Pressurized water then squirts through cracks in the ice crust, blasting into space at speeds of 360 liters per second, which is fast enough to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool in just a couple hours. While most of the plume material falls back as snow on the moon's surface, some of it also feeds Saturn's E-ring, a tenuous halo of tiny ice particles. It was these particles that hit Cassini's instruments during its flybys. While previous research based on computer models concluded there might be phosphorus on Enceladus, this is the first time that the crucial ingredient has been spotted directly in material from Enceladus geysers. While browsing through measurements of over 300 ice grains sampled by the Cassini spacecraft and the data reproduced in the lab for validation purposes, the team behind the new study spotted nine grains that had a clear fingerprint of orthophosphate, which is the only form of phosphorus that living organisms can absorb and is used by them for growth. It was a tantalizing moment when I first realized that these spectra very likely show phosphates, Postberg said, adding that his team was agnostic while analyzing the data. I admit phosphate is probably the best thing we could have found, but we never looked for it specifically. The new study also concluded that orthophosphate is readily available in Enceladus's oceans, with the best estimate of its abundance being over 1,000 times higher than in Earth's oceans. On Earth, phosphorus is released by rocks during erosion, 
and weathering of dry land, which Enceladus does not have. Instead, scientists think the interactions between the moon's ocean water and the rock forming its core dissolves high amounts of phosphorus into the ocean. No one would be surprised if there's phosphate in the rock of Enceladus. There's phosphates on comets, it is not a big deal, Postberg said. The big deal is that it is dissolved in the ocean and with that, it's readily available for the potential formation of life. Now, we wait for NASA to turn the James Webb Space Telescope towards Enceladus again, and find out more about potentially habitable moon. To find life outside of Earth, our best chances lie in the moons of gas giant planets in the solar system. The JWST's pioneering endeavor is not limited to Enceladus alone. During the conference, Geronimo Villanueva, a visionary planetary scientist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, electrified the audience with an astonishing revelation. The telescope had detected the presence of carbon dioxide on Jupiter's moon, Europa. The implications of this discovery are nothing short of staggering, for carbon and oxygen are fundamental building blocks for life as we know it on Earth. In a testament to our unyielding curiosity, NASA is poised to launch a mission to Europa in the coming year, delving even deeper into the enigmatic depths of this oceanic world. NASA says that we stand at the dawn of a new era in the exploration of our vast solar system, brimming with endless possibilities and extraordinary revelations. As the James Webb Space Telescope continues to push the boundaries of our knowledge, revealing wonders that stretch the limits of our imagination, humanity stands poised on the precipice of discovery. With each breathtaking revelation, the cosmos beckons us to delve further, to unravel the secrets concealed within its cosmic tapestry. The pursuit of knowledge, the quest for extraterrestrial life, and the exploration of celestial worlds fuel our insatiable curiosity, propelling us towards an uncertain, yet tantalizing future. We are on the cusp of a new chapter, where the once unfathomable becomes tangible, and where the celestial dance of possibility unfolds before our very eyes. What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Lab360, because together, we will explore. Hey people, if you like our videos, kindly become a member to support us. With your support, we can continue making more such videos, and explore the depths of the cosmos. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time.